Hey guys, welcome to JUnit 5 tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about dependency injection for constructors and methods. Right? So, first of all, we'll understand the concept and after hours, uh, we will move for our demo project uh, so that we can understand the, all those points what we discuss in the slide. Yeah. So, first point says, in all previous JUnit versions, uh, test constructors or methods were not allowed to have parameters right we have one of the major changes in genus jupiter both test constructors and methods are now permitted to have parameters this allows for greater flexibility and enables dependency injection for constructors and methods now what point i would like to tell you over here if you look into the previous versions of uh, junit right prior to junit 5 uh, so those JUnit versions uh, is basically not allowed you to pass uh, any parameter uh, either in the uh, test constructor or test methods, right? But uh, from JUnit 5 or JUnit Jupyter onwards, uh, we can pass any, not any parameter, but one of the parameter uh, uh, in the constructor as well as test method. And that is nothing but the uh, constructor as well as method injection, yeah? So just you have to pass uh, one parameter and instantiation of that uh, parameter or uh, as well as initialization will be taken care by the JUnit uh, platform. Yeah. So in case uh, a test class method or a constructor or lifecycle method accepts test info as a parameter, then parameter must be resolved at runtime by automatically registered uh, by parameter resolver. So here uh, basically uh, uh, in in your constructor test constructor or test uh, method you can pass test info as an argument right and uh, all the test related information is going to uh, populate in the test info right and uh, and that is happening in the behind because of the parameter resolver so parameter resolver you don't need to register explicitly that will be registered automatically at runtime now we can use uh, test info to retrieve information about the current container or a test such as a display name, uh, the test class, test method and associated tags. These are the information basically uh, information we can retrieve from test info. So to, uh, to better understanding, let's go for one demo project there we can understand this concept through an example so here you can see i have created a project and here is the test case i have written and in this test class uh, you can see i have a display name on the class level apart from that i have a life cycle life cycle method like uh, before all after all before each right after each and i have a uh, three test cases which has also display display name right so here uh, let's create one constructor what we have discussed in the slide so i'm going to create a constructor so that we can perform constructor injection right and in this constructor we can pass test info as an argument right and this is going to register this is going to basically auto wire by the uh JUnit itself JUnit uh, platform itself right and uh, instantiation of this will be taken care by the JUnit now you in this JUnit info you can do like uh, here in even in constructor you can perform some kind of testing right so here if you look into here you'll get the main information like if you uh, try to search like uh, you can get the display name you can get the tags you can get the test method name so when i say test method names means this is going to return you the, all the test method names right so let's say i would like to retrieve over here get display name right so this guy is going to return you the test display name that is nothing but this and within the constructor good thing is that you can also perform or uh, uh, you can uh, use the assertions it was not possible before jnit5 or jnit jupyter so i would say assert equals and this guy is going to take expected as well as actual uh, result so my expectation is that sh should be test display name should be like this right and actual we are good getting here right so this should be pass right this should be so if this assertion is going to fail then of course you'll get runtime error now here you can see in constructor itself we are writing assertion means we are writing the test so this is only possible after journey to jupiter right if you look in the previous version you can't do that 
apart from that, let's say if you have any life cycle method, right? Test info you can pass over there. So here I'm going to pass test info. Yeah. And in this test info also you can retrieve information, right? So let's say I'm going to I'm going to make use of this test info and here get I would say uh, let's say I would like to uh, get the all the tags right even though I haven't defined tags but all the tags tax is going to uh, basically this will give you the set set of tags right so let's define some tags so here I'm going to define some tags so here um, let's define some tags I would say uh, this is nothing but a tag underscore one and this test case I'm going to define as tag two yeah so these tags we can retire we can print over here accordingly you can retire you can do some kind of action within uh, basically at before all so of course this uh, uh, test info can be passed to the any life cycle method as well as any test case method as well as constructor right now if I look into the test uh, method right so uh, of course uh, if uh, if you write some test uh, method then of course you can pass uh, test info as a, as a parameter as well so here I'm going to pass this guy and here of course I can uh, do some kind of assertion right let's say I do assert true right so assert true has a lot of overloaded method assert sorry assert assert true I'm going to use very simple method it takes only one boolean argument right so here I'm going to use uh, in assert true I'm going to let's say let drive tag so I'm going to retrieve the tag so get tags so this guy is going to return a set of tags right so I tell tags dot contains so this guy will contain two tags tag one tag two so i'm going to check tag one exists or not right over here right so of course now let's uh, move ahead and run this uh, uh, test case and see how it is working right so here what i'll do here i'll do I say I'll give a marker like inside constructor and and of course if this assertion is going to true then test case will get failed so now I'm going to run this now let's run and here you can see uh, we get the output so within the constructor uh, within the constructor inside the constructor uh, so here you can see uh, this uh, tag is returning nothing the reason is that uh, why it is not returning anything because before all method is getting called uh, before execution of all test cases method uh, test cases and that's the reason this is uh, this is identifying there is no tag uh, let's say if I move these things into uh, after all then let's see we are able to identify or we are able to get the all the tags or not so so if I go to the uh, after all then we should be able to uh, find the all the tags right so let's run now once again so still it is <laughs> not coming right so uh, list of tags we are unable to retrieve right so uh, in, inside the life cycle method right that may be the default uh, I, I think uh, that's the default behavior uh, but uh, here if you look into the rest of the things what we have done uh, that is working perfectly fine right like uh, sort equals we have done for the display name within the constructor so constructor injection is working perfectly fine Right, this tag is uh, not uh, coming out. Uh, we are not able to retrieve in a lifecycle method. But if you look into the test class, then here assert true is going to be passed. Right, if you look into all the test cases has been passed, means assert true. This tag is available in uh, this. Uh, when I call get tags, then this uh, uh, basically coming with the, all the tags. So if I uh, print this 
uh, then this guy will print all the tags so let me run once more so here this guy is printing only tag one uh, that means that means uh, here we have passed test info in this this test info we have passed as a method argument right so this is kind of method uh, injection so this test info will have uh, information related to this test case only and that's the reason this uh, this guy has only tag one not tag two as well right and if you try to type tag two then you have to uh, you have to use basically uh, 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 or what we can do here we haven't used uh, this uh, test info let's see how it, it uh, this behavior works now still it is returning only tag one even though i pass test info in another uh, test method there i have one tag right but still it is retrieving it is showing that uh, this uh, set of tags is containing only tags which is uh, specified before this test method right so guys anyway these are the uh, basically uh, concept related to the constructor method uh, as well as test dependency injection right so uh, you can use test info in in your constructor or method or any life cycle method and you can take advantage out of it right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial.